Hello everyone and welcome to another video. We here love budget coolers, although the Water 3.0 isn't exactly budget, pushing just over the £100 mark here in the UK, what would you get for your money if you were to go out and buy one? Well, the £80 to £150 mark is a very competitive price point for all-in-one liquid coolers, and this is exactly where the Water 3.0 ARGB all-in-one cooler belongs. The Water 3.0 240mm ARGB sink liquid cooler comes with two 120mm ARGB PWM fans and supports 5V RGB compatible motherboards. And it is also available in 120mm variants and 360mm variants and is a fantastic choice for those that can't get enough RGB lighting in their builds. Manufactured by Acertec who are known for their water cooling products and their easily assembly, this is no exception and like the Flow DX240 and the Water 3.0 we have previously looked at, it is very easy to install, but the hardest part is probably getting the bottom hook to marry the AM4 socket mount to be honest. Switching between the different lighting modes and the colour options are impressive and easily done via the optional included controller in the pack or via the ARGB motherboard lighting software such as Asus Aura Sync, Gigabyte Fusion 2.0, Mystic Light Sync or ASRock Polychrome. When it comes to optimising your PC performance, keeping your components cool should always be a priority. Utilising an all-in-one liquid cooler like the Water 3.0 ARGB will not only keep your system cooler, but will always help to maintain the lifespan of your CPU, especially if you choose to overclock. So let us touch more on the addressable RGB LED fans. You have complete control when it comes to the personalisation with over 16.8 million colours to choose from and Thermaltake give you some great starting points to work with from their preset lighting effects either through the software or the hardware controls allowing you to switch between the different lighting modes for some truly dazzling effects. The fans are also rated for speeds from 500 to 2510 RPM via the PWM control means that these fans are pretty quiet with an operating noise of only 25.8 dBA. So compatible with all mainstream CPU mounts from LJ1150 to 2066 and FM1 to AM4 giving you a huge amount of flexibility. And what is a nice change is the long 326mm rubber tubes which really helps the stealth look of this TT ecosystem and is quite light only weighing in at 1230 grams. So how does it perform? Well in true Jazzy fashion we are using the TT build for our testing. If you would like to know the exact specs of this system you can check them out in the description below along with any links to buy the parts seen in this video and their respective reviews. So kicking things off we saw an average boot temp of 26 degrees C which is very nice and an average idle temp reading of 30.1 degrees C and 35.9 degrees C after running back to back times by benchmark tests for half an hour or so on stock speeds. So moving on to overclock speed on 3.8 gigahertz we saw an average boot temp rise to 27.4 degrees C and an average idle temp reading of 36.7 degrees C and 51.0 degrees C after running back to back time spy benchmark tests again for half an hour or so on 3.8 gigahertz overclock. So depending on your CPU and system hardware configuration mileage may vary but the figures showed that this cooler is in fact pretty decent, however, sitting at £113 at the time of this video, the Water 3.0 ARGB gets our silver award. Had it been priced around the £90 mark, however, I would have been inclined to give it gold, but as it stands, in my opinion, this is definitely worth considering. So, that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, hit like, and if you loved it, subscribe, and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.